Oh, excuse me. Welcome, bedtime buddies. Thanks for taking your time out of your day to hang out with me and KB. My name is Nikki Moon. KB, you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> She's being silly, of course, as always. <laughs> And this is Bedtime Stories with KB and Nikki Moon. Tonight's bedtime story is a scholastic book written by Tom Rath and Mary Reckmeyer. And it is called, How Full Is Your Bucket? How full is your unicorn bucket? Felix was putting one of the last blocks on his tower when his little sister came in. I want to build with you, she said. Felix scowled. Go away. You're too little. That wasn't very mean. That was mean, wasn't it? It wasn't very nice. Yeah. <laughs> mean thing to say. You're mean. <laughs> say back. You'll knock it over. I'm big, she says. I can be careful. Go play with your baby toys, Anna. It's on me. That's what she's thinking in her mind. Thwack, she knocks down his blocks. Her mean. She just wanted to play with them. Grandpa! Grandpa shook his head. Felix, you just dipped from your sister's bucket. Like everyone else, Anna has an invisible bucket. When it's empty, she feels bad. But when it's full, she feels great. Didn't you ever notice your own bucket? Invisible bucket? Hmm, sometimes. Felix couldn't quite tell when his grandfather was joking. What does that say? Grandpa. Grandpa! Mm -hmm. My name's Kate Bay, and this is Mommy Nikki Moon. <laughs> your hair is a mess. Oh. And I just brushed it. <laughs> Goodness. But the next morning when Felix woke up, there it was, a small gray bucket floating above his head. It's a cute little doggie he's got. It looks like Penny sits up now. But it do have breath in it. When Felix came down to have breakfast, his mom was in a hurry. I've got a meeting this morning and it's almost time to go. Anna, sit still. She's trying to do her hair, huh? Oh, my face again. You can't see my face. Felix slipped and choco wheat scattered across the floor. Felix, yelled his mom. You should have used the stool to reach that. Felix could feel his bucket tip and big invisible drip spill out. Drip, drip. Ha ha, Anna laughed as she crunched the cereal with her shoe. Drip. Get the broom and clean that up before you miss the bus, scolded mom. With the school bus honking, Felix quickly swept up the choco wheats and grabbed the last blueberry muffin. But before he could even take one bite, oh, Felix isn't having a very good start to his morning, is he? Mm -mm. <laughs> he had a pizza by now. Buster jumped up and grabbed the muffin from his hand. Drip. Hey, look at Felix's new backpack. My baby brother has one just like it. Drip. His bucket's being dripped a little bit more. Drip. That's a drip. Pissed. Felix pissed. They're up. They're, his friends are talking about him in school. Maybe they're not his friends after all, huh? Drip. Watch out, shrimp. Drip. What is uh, this thing again? Pissed. Felix pissed. They're talking about him. Not having a very good day. It was still morning and Felix's bucket felt almost empty. Oh, poor Felix. As he watched his classmates walk into the room, he secretly hoped they would trip and fall. That's what it feels like when you have an empty bucket. It's not good to wish bad on somebody else, is it? No, but everyone can see my face. There you go. Felix 
Blake slumped into a seat and waited for something else bad to happen. Miss Bumblenickel walked slowly up to his desk and handed him a paper. He could hardly bear to look. Felix, you wrote a wonderful story. Would you please share it with the class? Felix grinned and felt a big drop land right in his bucket. Drop. So his bucket slowly filling back up, right? Drop, plop, plink, drop. The gigant Gigantosaurus who wanted a pet by me, Felix. The class grew quiet. They laughed at all the right places and ooed at the scary parts. When Felix finally read the end, everyone clapped. Even Emily, who sat next to him, it didn't usually like dinosaurs. Felix felt a whole shower of drops land in his bucket. Maybe the day wouldn't be so bad after all. Look how big it is. The Gigantosaurus. That's it. Gigantosaurus. No, it says Ron. I feel it. Mm -hmm. Drop! Team captains today are Veronica and Felix, says the coach. Drop! His bucket's being filled back up slowly. Nice cow, says his art teacher. Well, nice colors there, Felix. It's a dog. <laughs> His art teacher says, nice cow. But Felix says, it's a dog. And his art teacher says, well, nice colors there, Felix. So his bucket's being filled up a little bit more with drops. Cool laser ant, backpack, Felix. Laser ant. Got a laser ant backpack. Laser ant. Backpack. I have a backpack. Mm -hmm. It's glittery. By afternoon, Felix's bucket was nearly full. At recess, when he looked around, Felix suddenly realized that his grandpa was right. Everyone else had a bucket too. On the bus, there was only two persons. Why only two persons had the bucket on the bus? Mm -hmm. It's just an imaginary bucket. Let me help you, says the teacher when he drops his papers. Drop, drop, his bucket slowly being filled back up. Here's your baseball, catch. Thanks, dude. Drop, drop. Hi, I'm Felix, first day. Yes, I'm a mirror. Drop, drop. The strange thing was that for every drop he helped put in someone else's bucket, he felt another drop in his own bucket. So that's just another point that when you put out kindness, you get kindness back, right? I disappear. No, no, come back, KB. I can't do it. Let's finish the end of this uh, book. We only have a couple more pages. Let's yeah, see what finds out to Felix. Yeah, when Felix burst in the door after school, he shouted, you were right, Grandpa. I do have a bucket, and I understand how it works. Then he saw Anna's torn doll. Bad dog, he almost scolded. But then he thought dogs might have invisible buckets, too. Your doll will be okay, Anna, said Felix. Mom will fix her. Wah! Anna's crying. Until then, do you want to help me build the tallest building in the world with my blocks? Aw. Then... Him look at new drops. Wait, let me see. The end. Let's see. And so they did. Oh, that's sweet. And guys, I hope you enjoy this book. And smash that toe button. <laughs> so, what did you learn about this book, KB? Because I know you were off on a little tangent there for a minute. What was your favorite part? About loving you. What was your favorite part of the book? <laughs> you don't remember the no. book? Oh my goodness, KB. Can I look? What was it about? A brush. A what? A brush. See? You remember the mommy brushing the girl's hair before school, Anna's hair? No. What was it all about, though? The dog. It was about the bucket, right? Mm -hmm. And how when you're nice to others, 
in the my my favorite part was saying no to the puppy. Cause I like saying no, puppy. You're a bad puppy. No. I I know I love you, but you're always getting the trash all the time. You like yelling at doggies? Yeah. So this what what I, like I doggies? What I took away from this book is that when you stay positive, no. I know what you're gonna say. What? Um, you're gonna say the blood. No. Be nice. I was just going to say that when you stay positive during bad situations or when you feel sad and you try to stay positive and, and you're that foot. and you're nice to people, then your bucket fills up, your invisible bucket. So it makes your heart happy and your bucket filled and therefore it will fill somebody else's bucket and make them happy throughout then the day. Then your bucket in it's invisible. It's an invisible bucket. The way I, I can't feel it. No, you can't feel it. Well, you can feel it in your heart. So when mommy says, oh, you look so beautiful, KB, doesn't that make you feel good? So that's filling Wait, your bucket. I keep getting drips on my heart. See, she's feeling drips in her heart. <laughs> and that's all that matters. When it stops, you don't. <laughs> so we want to know what was your favorite part of the book and what do you think the book was about? I think it was about nothing. KB... Really? <laughs> KB has a lot of wiggles that apparently she needs to get out this evening okay, before ready? she goes to bed. You ready? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> but we hope you guys have sweet dreams. We hope you tune back in to us next time we read our next and bedtime story. Fix, and hit that subscribe button. Hit Turn on a creation bows and I'll see you soon. <laughs> what Bye. she means is that if you enjoy this channel and you want to be notified whenever we have a new bedtime story coming up, make sure you hit the notification bell so you we, can be notified. We love making a bedtime channel, but I have something cool that I paste in a lot of money. It's that ice cream truck and my TV. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe, share if you want to, and we thank you very much for tuning in. We love you guys. Have sweet dreams. Bye. 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 And I have strong message. Bye.